What is OpenTofu and is it really the drop-in replacement for Terraform? Let's explore this in this video. It will be short. I promise. I'll show you how easy it is to migrate from Terraform to OpenTofu. However, the important thing is that what you see here in this video is true today. Why did I say that? You will learn it very soon. But first, before we start, let's talk shortly about the history of OpenTofu. It will be a short history because OpenTofu is very young. OpenTofu was created as a response for the change done by HashiCorp to the license of their products like Terraform. So the license changed from MPL, Mozilla Public License, to PSL or PUSL, as you wish. It is the business software license. From that moment, we can say that Terraform is not open source anymore. On 13th of August, OpenTofu Manifesto, in fact, OpenTF Manifesto was published because the project was called OpenTF at that time. The name was changed when the project was about to join Linux Foundation. Manifesto defined the goals and the reasons why the project is here. You can read it on the opentofu.org. The manifesto is still available there. Fast forward to today, OpenTofu was added to the CNCF landscape family. If you don't know what it is, um, go to the CNCF webpage, learn more about the CNCF foundation itself and the link to the CNCF landscape, as well as to OpenTofu manifesto you can find down below in the description. Right now, project is under review because project applied to CNCF to be under CNCF umbrella and this is the biggest contribution from my side because I opened this issue uh, which allows us to start the process to join CNCF and I hope it will happen sooner than later. Shortly, what is OpenTofu? It is an infrastructure as code tool like Terraform and currently as I said before, and let me emphasize this again, currently this is drop-in replacement. It means that you can take your Terraform code, Terraform code which you use every single day, change the binary to OpenTofu, or I should say Tofu because binary is called Tofu in the OpenTofu project, and just run it. That's it. This is everything what you really need. The installation of OpenTofu is very simple. OpenTofu provides packages prepared for many systems like Alpine, like Debian and Red Hat families, like macOS, FreeBSD, and much more. OpenTofu can be also installed using Homebrew or Snap to make things easier. Also, you can download the package from GitHub releases and just install it into your system. It is very straightforward and very easy process. All right, time to get our hands dirty. Here I have a very simple project, and I mean very simple project. As you can see, I have only one file in this direct directory, and the Terraform project is not initialized at this point, so we have only one file. Before we explore this file, here is the scenario we will do. First, I'm gonna to initialize the project using Terraform. And then I will run Terraform apply. We will see what will happen. After that, I switch the binary to OpenTofu and apply it again. Terraform and OpenTofu is already installed in the newest versions. And that's, I think, the best um, lab environment we can have. Okay, let's take a look into this file itself. I said it is simple, didn't I? We have one provider, random. We have one resource, 
which generates the random number. And finally, we have only one output, which will show this number on the screen. That's all what we need for this very simple scenario, because I don't want to keep this video like one hour long. Let's run our Terraform right now, and we start with Terraform init. Okay, project is initialized. Right now we will start run, run Terraform plan and finally Terraform apply. So we start with Terraform plan. Okay. And it's time to run Terraform apply. Perfect. All, all works well. I have my Terraform executed successfully. There is the random number. Let's take a look on the details right, right now, what we have in our Terraform. I pipe here the output of my command through JQ tool. One day I'll do the video about this, I promise, but today is not the time for it. As we can see, we have registry terraform.io and the version of Terraform is 1.7.5. This is very important. All right, let's see the providers. You can see we use the one provider and this provider is also in our state. Both are both records are collected from the registry terraform.io. This is important. Right now we start tofu init and we go and start using tofu. So we will do the migration, right? All right, we have it. Let's see tofu providers. And right now you can see that expected or required provider will be OpenTofu, but still we didn't do anything with what is applied. That's why we have Terraform.io provider, which is in the state. Okay, let's start with Tofu plan. All right, and Tofu apply. All right, we have our number, which should be the, exactly the same because nothing changed. And now let's see Tofu providers. And you can see that we have the configured provider open tofu and also required provider is open tofu. What is inside our Terraform? Right, we see that everything changed. We have opentofu.org and we also have different Terraform version. That is everything what we really need to do in order to have our new migrated infrastructures code template ready that's all now a couple of elements which uh, are important to explain here you may ask why in the terraform show you saw terraform version this is because we didn't want to change the structure of the project we didn't want to change the metadata. That's why we kept the same approach to the configuration. That's why there is Terraform version. If we change this, it means that it will be not drop-in replacement anymore. We apply this and we were able to confirm three things really. So first, we used OpenTofu easily. Second, Tofu is using its own registry. It is very important because right now only Terraform can use the registry in the way like we saw just in a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago. And the third thing finally, we just changed the binary. Nothing more. And believe me, this will work the same way if your template has 10,000 of lines not like mine has like 10, 20, something like this. It will work with very big projects in the same way like you just saw before. As you saw, OpenTofu is easy to configure, easy to run, easy to start with. Start using it today. In this video, I explained 
what OpenTofu is and how to switch from Terraform to OpenTofu. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, don't hesitate to contact me and put your comment below. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button somewhere there to not miss any content wherever I will publish anything new. My name is Paweł Piwosz. See you next time.